Hello again my friends, it's been a while, this is a boy and his dog and welcome to the channel where I'm meant to be play rank and reviewing every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's episode of Everthoughts we have quite a few things to discuss. First and foremost I must apologise for my absence, the reasoning is twofold, in the first two weeks Final Fantasy VII Rebirth came out and I was only going to play a little like an hour a day but I couldn't put it down, 120 hours later, crikey, bloody loved it. And then the last two weeks, I suffer with... Now, I can't pronounce this first word. It's trig something. Neuralgia. Anyway, it's really been kicking my ass. Like, I'm barely so recently. But I'm hoping I'm getting on top of it with new pain meds. As I really want to get back into making videos. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the new library option on Evercade Systems. I'll be having my first play of the first game of the month of 2024. And it's a good one. We'll also take a quick look at at present empty roadmap for 2024 though there are some big hints aren't there and finally chat about legacy cards we better dig in okay then right well, there's game of the month which we will come back to and have a proper go in a minute but the new library option is the next one down so here's the library, you can browse carts and it says 055 collected. We have a nice recently announced and released section. And browse games at 0 of 494. But let's go back to carts first. So you have all carts, or you can choose between arcade, computer and console. It's nice seeing them all laid out like that. So click and you can go on their page and then you can select read more to get more details on the cart. or go down to explore games we can flick through let's choose the best combo tribes and find out about that game there you go cool right let's go to console Right, if you press R1, it shows which ones you've got. And you'll see at the moment, it says I ain't got nothing, because you've got to re-put them back in the system once you've got this new um, patch added. There you go. Um, you also notice that the carts are slightly darkened at the moment. That will change in a bit. Right, let's check out announced and recent released. What a great idea. You can read up on the next to be released carts, check out the games, but most important being, Risk with Star X and Street Racer, surely. <laughs> Just look at that. Love that game. I have played the Amiga one though, so I don't know how different it is. That looks fucking awesome. Depends how it controls. Anything Star Wing I love. And who doesn't like a bit of street racing, eh? Right, now let's check out the Browse Games option. There's 494 of them. And they separate into the game types or all, which is great. There you go. See the list there on the left? You go for all the different types, and the games will come up on the right. And you can see all their artwork. So, this is great if you're thinking you fancy a new game, but what, what should you get next? For instance, let's say I want to shoot them up. Not just any shoot them up, but a fecking awesome horizontal shoot them up. <laughs> so, we flip through here. Oh yes, look, Project X, this looks good. I can learn about it here. And come down to the bottom, right, to find out the cart it's on and see what other games it has. And by Joe, this looks like an awesome cart. I think I'll get it next, if I didn't have it already. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put a cart in now, and we'll see what happens. Right, let's find the first one, Atari. One minute. <laughs> right, there's all the games. And then if we go back to library, it should say, they go one of 55 collected. 
and 20 or 494 games collected. <laughs> and now you see it's in our own uh, our own list with R1 and it's lit up more. So what happens if you put a non-compatible car in? Obviously with this, we've got um, uh, the Namco collections because they don't work on here, but it needs to read them, doesn't it? So I'm gonna put, find the Namco car and put that in. Why has he not read it? Wait a minute, let's go down to console. So you can bring it up as usual, but there you go, it says, what's legacy? There you go, it's lit up now. Ah, there it goes. It's a bit weird how it did that. And now it says you own this. Obviously, you can't, you can't play it, but you can add it in to light the collection. Of course, it worked absolutely fine on your EXP. And one thing I almost forgot, you can switch the view with X. Let's go into one. Let's go into here, that's it. Right, if you press X, yeah, it's a little bit sexy. I do uh, like this overall. It's great if you can't remember what games is on the car. <laughs> you can figure this like the old library index cards to help you find the game you want to play. With all the info they've added to every card's description, etc. It must have taken a hell of a lot of time to get this ready. So I'm slightly hella impressed. Uh, but mostly for the spine option, if I'm honest. And yeah, it is good for their advertising. That's a bit obvious. But <laughs> I like that it reads them all because of my OCD. So... It's all cool, it's all cool. Right, next up, let's take our first look and have our first play of the first game of the month for 2024. And it's The Curse of Ilmore Bay. I do like that artwork. So this is done by the people that did uh, The Crow Maiden, I believe. And The Beer Game, which I loved, it was just too short. Right, in this spooky platform adventure, Cole, Scarlet and Isa are tasked with protecting Ilmore Bay from the demonic Umbra's evil machinations. Battle through each stage, collecting candies and keys along the way, unlock doors to discover upgrades to our hero's abilities, health and energy bars. Do your best in each stage to defeat all the enemies, discover all the collectibles and avoid taking damage. Can you unlock the 18 awards on offer? <gasps> this sounds feckin' awesome. Right, let's give it a go. Welcome to Ilmore. Awesome, good start. Funky music, I like the look. Right, are there awards, options, play? One player. <laughs> Said lonely me. Ooh, save, this is quite a chugger then. Oh, this is a character select, awesome. It was the night of All Hallows Eve. Where tricks and treats become horrors and screams. As the moon arose, a vexing de gin sneered with glee. Do you pronounce it de gin or just gin? <laughs> As of midnight, it will always be Halloween. I am Umbra, harbinger of night, a curse of menacing evil and spite. <laughs> awesome. May the underworld denzins come out and play. <laughs> and forever haunt Ilmore Bay. I like the sound. With that, the town turned into an evil paradise. But here's a twist, magic has a price. <laughs> the balance of good and evil ebbs and flows. How and when it started, nobody really knows. <laughs> 
Oh, I love the little rhymes. Hidden in plain sight, clear as day. Stood free protectors of Ilmore Bay. <laughs> Music's funky again. Well, the front end's very good on this. Clever kids without a clue. Brought to life from free statues. <laughs> That's all works. So begins our creepy scene, a night of terror and forever Halloween. Awesome. Oh my god, we've got a map. I fucking love maps. <sighs> right, calm down, Steve. It's just a map. <laughs> Let's go get keys. Okay. Right, I'm loving the music. It moves good. Right, that's like a tank. Let's jump. Go we'll get the tethers. Oh, oh, I can shoot him. That's cool. Right, can I whack it? Just shoot him. <laughs> Do you have unlimited bullets? Music is great. I don't know how to get up there. I believe you get abilities, you probably have to come back here if there's a map system. So I'm not going to worry too much if I can't reach something. I'm going to assume. I'm going to whack him. Oh shit. Is it easy just to shoot? Oh, the teddies fill up. Oh shit. The teddies fill up the red bar at the bottom there. Oh god, I need to be better timing than that, don't I? <laughs> so the red bar is our bullets, okay. So what's our health then? There's um oh shit, this our health there's the oh yeah there you go. So you get free like um what'd you bloody call them? It's not beakers, is it? <laughs> I can't think of the word. Test tubes, that's the one. So that the ones with the blood in that's our health. I've no idea what the spinny thing is though. What, Ted Ted's don't give you much um, red bar. Now I know there's an arrow pointing down there but I don't trust that. Oh, okay, doesn't go that far. And if you hit him early enough, they can't get you, so it's quite good. Hit him as a fork that was about to touch him. Well, I think we've got the hang of them now. <laughs> Honestly, this game is well cool. I think because it controls so well. Right, fuck over here. Shit, this one. <laughs> You can't go wrong with a skeleton on a skateboard, can you? <laughs> oh, these little devils. Hey, that's better. Okay. Oh, there's like an eyeball up there, what's that? Oh, there's a key. Oh, hell, some all web thing. <laughs> My time is for shit. Oh, it's not an eyeball, it's got a key out. Alright, I'll get ya. I can't get up there, can I? Uh, yeah, you gotta come back, I'm sure of it. Oh, 
Can he's collected 34 out of 40 enemies def Oh, it's how many enemies are defeated as well. Okay. But yeah, as I say, there's a map. I'm assuming you can come back later. So that was the burbs. Oh, still the burbs. One, two. Two lives left. So there's a mall up there. That's cool. Like a graveyard. I don't know what that is above it. Like a school. And then like some kind of swamp. Okay. Okay, another well it's called burbs, it's suburbs in it. Can I get up there? No. Okay, so we'll admit I'm loving this game so far, it's pretty awesome. I'm a bit shit it. <laughs> That's part of the course, isn't it? Shit, so if it counts the enemies, you've got to get the crows as well, and there's me trying to avoid them, innit? <laughs> Never mind. Just about survival, innit, to start with. Oh, what's that? No pumpkins? Yeah, you got to come back, haven't you, when you've got more skills. Didn't it say when you get a boss? Shit. Oh my god, my timing. <laughs> All health. Yes, we'll have that. It's like a French skeleton on skateboard. Is that a beret? <laughs> <laughs> a little lost cat poster like that. Right, can I get the roof of there? Or can? Oh, I'm have to get to Oh shit, I'm have to go back up that way, aren't I? Yeah. Never mind, we're learning, we're learning. Oh, for the love of Pete. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Apologies. Oh my days. Right. We know what we're doing now. It's all good. That was what we call practice run, yeah? We're now gonna perfect. See look at the skill. He's got skills. The multiplier. Sorry. Learning. <laughs> yeah, it's never bad. Best tactic, isn't it? Can't get over there. Okay. Nice. I have lost a bit of health yet. Doing all right. He says full is a bit of health. <laughs> yeah, I don't even need that. So what is the yellow spinny thing? At the bottom there, in the middle. I've got some super duper special moves that I just have not used. Actually, make these jumps, on Steve. Don't embarrass yourself. Eee, I didn't think I was going to make that then. <laughs> I kind of slightly held my breath. <laughs> oh, there's bloody pumpkins. Oh. See, it went from being really good. Oh no, that's not too bad. We've got health. And we've got the exit. Nice. Can I get up there? No. Fine. Well, we've remarkably made it to the third level. 24 out of 35, 10 out of 16. I'm jivved. That's my playstyle, whatever that fucking means. <laughs> right. This is the last part of the burps. 1 3. 
So I'm going to get three keys overall, or three over, over the whole game, or just this part, I don't know. We shall see. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> You're not going to move? Okay, I've got to calm down. Like hitting them is slightly less powerful than um why have I done that? Then shooting. Oh wow, shooting the wrong way, that's, that's brilliant mate. <laughs> Smooth moves. Yeah, we got up here. <laughs> Got my um, shot left now. Um. Right, levels are definitely getting more interesting design now, aren't they? No doubt as we go on, they get more maze like they always do in these games, don't they? Go down here. The devil's in the detail. Shit. Right, can we make it to the end of the level, do you think? We'll grab that. <laughs> There's a thing called Jump Steve, yeah? Oh, my first crow. Stone the crows. Oh, shit. Oh, we're basically dead. Oh, you silly man. Oh, was that it? Oh, that was awesome. I loved it. Brilliant. That was really cool, right? Next up, let's look at, as of now, mostly blank roadmap for 2024. And there's definitely a few interesting things to talk about. Much less carts this year, only 10, and we know of the first two, so initially it does seem a bit underwhelming. What's more interesting, however, is what's between those carts. We have four pieces of hardware incoming. What could they be? The most obvious choice is four and more Super Pockets. Super Pockets aren't Evercade. They just use Evercade carts, so would they even count? I can't for the life of me remember if they were on the last year's roadmap, so you'll have to let me know. I tried to look back through my um, picture scroll and I, I can't see them. Or could it be a limited EXP like we got last year with the Atomic VS? Now if it was, could it have limited collection on it? Like the Capcom collection? And if so, could we see what a few of us have been pining for? A Tato limited EXP with more games including two that were weirdly missing from the Super Pocket. The Legendary Rainbow Islands and Masterful Parasol Stars. Or could they be themed around whatever cart is out at the same time in a similar way the Atomic VS came out with the Duke collections? So that's the first few options. Or another thought, in July we get two carts, but we also get two pieces of hardware, the same again in November. Now, are the hardware and carts connected somehow in another way? Suggestion, a keyboard and mouse and one or two home computer collections. Or could we be getting more analog control based console games and here's a couple of analog controllers to go along with it. What do you think is fitting into the four hardware slots? Are they connected with each other or all completely different? Or do you think it's something else that I haven't even thought of? Let us know. So what can we expect from this slightly lesser year? If we guess that the carts are somehow connected to the hardware, that could be four more console carts or four more home computer. I can imagine at least one more solo car, but it better be good. Full Void was peak. And I think there will be a riot in the streets of London, other capitals where applicable, if we don't get at the very least two more arcade collections. Am I right? Considering the hardware and next carts are out in July, I'm assuming a May showcase. That's normally around the time in it. Yeah, it just seems less this year, but considering I never managed to catch up with my reviews last year, maybe that's a good thing. As long as it ain't a sign of winding things down. You know what I'm saying? Of course, maybe they're going to concentrate on firmware updates and patches this year. We will, of course, now be getting Game of the Month 
every month until December with Game of the Month. So that's great news. I hope we at least get a couple more years out of that. And I think that's everything on my mind this week. Let me know your thoughts on any of the topics in today's video, the library, game of the month, this year's roadmap and legacy cards in general. Of course, it's less than a month until Pico 4 and Sunsoft 2 are out with lots of fun to be had. And in the meantime, I'm sure you're all having fun with C64 Collection 3 and Indie Heroes 3 too. And of course, the new game of the month, which I think I'm going to jump right back into when I finish this video. And if you've made it here to the end of the episode, thanks ever so much for joining me. Leave a thumbs up or comment if you'd like. Either way, I'm just chuffed your picture head in for a goosey gander. As always, I hope you're having the most awesomest of days, my friends. And until next time, be singing.